Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to The Clone Wars. So, uh, the last story, it ended better than it started, at least for me. It's probably one of the weaker stories, the like story arcs that we've seen. But, you know, I love the focus on R2. You know what? I'm a bright side kind of gal, all right? Like, let's let's think of the positives and everything. I'm really excited to start um, another story. And I just, I, I hope that, um, I don't know what I hope. I just hope it's good. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't really care who we focus on or anything like that. Um, it's always really interesting when I start a new story to, to see where we're going to go next. All right, let's get into it. Both Maul and Savage Press spread chaos as they descend on the outer rim. Oh. After rescuing his brother from despair. Sauvage and Maul murder and pillage at every turn. I was wondering when we would uh, see them again. destroys my entire stronghold. Uh -huh. Yes, we are looking at them right now. A cargo vessel in three of your starships. They're heading towards you, Hondo. Uh, uh, are you going to help me when you get here? I'll deal with my men. You deal with those tattoo crazies. Right. Throwing in with pirates now. Oh, how the mighty Sith have fallen. Oh my god! The Sith! I have plans, Kenobi, and you will not see. 
stand in my way this time. Oh, damn. Semi speechless. Ah. I shall draw the brothers away. Once that's done, blast the passageway closed. And leave you alone with the two crazies? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Disagree, Chancellor. No, we do not. Everything we've. But I am afraid we can no longer allow this personal matter of yours to be a Republic concern. It does not appear this Darth Maul is a direct threat to the Republic. We need to uh, redirect your. Maul is trying to build an army of pirates. So let him. Let him play but with let the him. It is of no relevance to the Senate compared to the Separatist threat. Ugh. Good day, gentlemen. Ugh. But heed the words of the Chancellor. We must. A personal matter, this is for you. Clouded, your judgment may be. In time, if he lives, reveal himself again. Maul will. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this. It's like he's, what if he's gonna reveal himself and it's gonna be like a bigger problem? Oh, no. Oh, okay. The brother's fate is about to be changed forever as they drift through unknown space. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Who's gonna find me? Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, shit. I want to hear their story. If they're an enemy of the Jedi, then they're a friend of mine. Oh, great. Hold them up. Oh, great. This is bad. This is, this is not the team-up that I really want. You serve Count Duke? I serve no one. Mm. We are brothers. The true lords of the Sith. What happened to your ship? Destroyed huh? by Jedi Kenobi. And what do you seek now, Sith? Fortune <laughs> and Revenge. power. Revenge. In time for tea. Come join me. I don't like this. Can I go on record saying I don't like this? I don't like this one bit. Your mark. The sign of Clan Vizsla. I am Pre-Vizsla. We are the Death Watch. 
descendants of the true warrior faith all Mandalorians once knew. <sighs> now my now they're ruled by the new Mandalorians who think that being a pacifist is a good thing. They've given away our honor and tradition for peace. Duchess Satine and her corrupt leadership are crushing our souls, uh, keep destroying our identity. <laughs> the Duchess has powerful allies, including your Jedi friend Kenobi. She does. She is Does. also responsible for our exile. It is the will of the Force. Oh, no, guys, I don't like this. We can help you reclaim Mandalore. And punish Kenobi for his trespasses. They claim to be powerful, but we put these two back together after the Jedi gutted them. Doubt will only lead to failure. Hold! This is so bad. This is so bad. A little self-control could do you some good. They know nothing of our intentions. Those revelations will come too late. Brothers are in favor of an alliance to liberate Mandalore. This Liberate. duchess of yours will soon discover the true burden of peace. No! No! What? No! I don't like this! Really? Really? Strong oh. and skilled. We are not mercenaries. Dispose of them. Keep their ships and weapons. Alright, I think it would be kind of difficult to Give dispose of them. Give me that one sword. Uh -huh. Very well, then. Damn. It's not gonna go well for you. Oh, it's really not gonna go well for you. Whoopsie do. Whoopsie do. Whoopsie do. Y'all lost your heads. Okay. Well. to join us is now yours. Oh. After careful consideration, we will join you. Uh -huh. Show us your surprise. Oh, See, this is why we can't, like, to, to stop looking for all or like, whatever Yoda was saying. Love you, Yoda, but, you know, like, look at this. Look at the, look at the shenanigans that's going we on. We have our army now. Ugh. I have a plan to undermine Satine. The army is weak. We are not ready for the Duchess. There is only one plan, one vision. And it belongs to Death Watch. Your vision lacks clarity. Without us, you have no army and no reason to replace the Duchess. I have a plan. It's to reach through this fucking screen and smack the shit out of you until you stop talking about Spice dealers connected to all the crime families of Coruscant. The Pikes. They will be the next to join us. Oh my god. Oh no my goodness. An army. I have no desire to oppose you. We come to join you. Their design is kind of cool here. Very good. Your lives in exchange for hot space and everything in its borders. No. No, 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 no. Oh, this is not gonna go well. Come on. 
Jada and the Hadi families have decided to join you. Great. Just fucking great. Love this. Love this! Between the huts, Black Sun, and the Pikes, we'll have a large reserve of muscle and supplies. Fucking oh, yes. so done. Mobilize the army. Send an advanced guard to the capital. Yeah. I want a list of targets vital to Mandalore security. Oh, fuck. Shoot, there would be no second chances. No! Oh, God. Stay focused. Mandalore will soon be ours. And Maul and his brother will be dead alongside the Duchess. Oh, great. Oh, great. What a mess. What a mess. Okay, I have things to say. Okay, well, I certainly have a whole lot to say. Um, all right, I'm going to talk about the first episode first um, before I get into <laughs> people are coming for Satine and I'm angry about it. All right, so the first episode... Uh, I, I loved, I, you know, I, I love whenever Obi gets a chance to be iconic and, you know, I mean, he doesn't really need a chance to do that, right? You know what I mean? Um, but I loved Hondo in it. Like, I loved Hondo in it. I love the idea, the, he's such a, I feel like, well-written character, because a lot of times he can be comedic relief, and sometimes he can be a little bit more threatening. But as soon as, you know... They were trying to come for Hondo. I was like, I think this is gonna go as well as you think. Like he finds a way to survive, and he, it, it, this is not his first rodeo. No, Sari. And I loved it. I really loved it. I honestly, I mean, I, I feel like it could have been just a really, really interesting episode. Of just Hondo versus like Maul and it. It just, I don't know. I really liked that aspect of it. Um. You know, and I didn't love the ending of that episode where, I mean, Palpatine aside with the, everything that he was saying and everything, um, because I mean, you know, just everything with that, that Yoda is saying is like, I, is it personal to Obi-Wan? Sure. Sure. I mean... They're coming for him, for sure, but it's like the idea of like, well, whenever we he, they show back up, we're going to have to deal with them. We'll deal with them then, sort of the mentality is like, that we, well, they're going to show up and it's going to be a fucking situation. It's going to be a fucking situation. You give them time to get an army and, and, and all of that. And listen, Maul has a one-track mind. He is He is out for... For blood, for sure. So, I don't know. That all just makes me really, really nervous. Um, but I gotta say, I did love uh, seeing the brothers again, or the master and apprentice. He doesn't want to say brother. Although he did say brother when he was talking to Death Watch, so... Eh, maybe. Um, and obviously, I feel like this is obviously a very... Um, significant part of of this the clone wars story um everything with maul and uh, obi-wan and and everything like that so it's nice to kind of get back to this plot line in the sense of it feels like we're really kind of pushing forward with this um and and one of the more interesting storylines um that we've been following and everything um Okay, so I want to talk about the second episode, and obviously, okay, I know glimpses in random things from what has been said on The Mandalorian thus far, um, and so I know, I don't know if that's what this is, really. I feel like it could be, um, and there, there's, there's some, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I feel like it's about to go down. Maybe. I don't appreciate Satine's name in everybody's mouth. I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it at all. Oh, God. I don't even know. <laughs> really, truly. I, I, okay. Um, 
you know, uh, it's going to be interesting to see where I think this story has two more episodes to see where it goes. And um, I do love a focus on Mandalore because I find it really interesting. And obviously I love Satine so much. So that's always great. But it, it, given everything that's going down in this episode, I'm just really nervous about it. And then we've got, you know, um, each of this this really kind of shaky alliance um, you know, because they, they're they both, I feel like I'm going to try to double cross one another and, I, I, you know, I don't know. And then, I don't know. I don't know. I'm interested to see Bo-Katan throughout this story. Because, again, I said this in the, the episode that they um, introduced her in. I don't know much about her, really. I mean, I know kind of what she said in The Mandalorian. But I, I do know that she's somewhat of a fan favorite. I think people were excited to see her back. I remember like a little bit of that. So I'm kind of interested to see where what her choices and her arc is going to be throughout maybe this. Maybe this is where she garners a little bit of, of being the fan favorite. Maybe it's later on. I have no idea. But I think it's, it, I'm always kind of, like clocking her on the screen, you know, like, okay, like I'm trying to follow and see like, okay, what's, what's making her such a, besides the fact that, you know, Katie Sackhoff, but, um, but girl, if you are a part, let me, let me say this, okay, I'm loyal. If you are a part in any way, trying to hurt my Satine, then we have issues. We have, me and this fictional character have issues, okay? And I'm not going to be, the, you know, if you show back up in The Mandalorian, I'm not going to be like, oh my god. So excited to see you. No. I'm going to be like this. Get off my screen. That's the, you know, so, you know. Anyway, um, I I really, really am interested. It, it's interesting. It's definitely kind of... Up to notch in the sense of plot, I feel like. Well, obviously from the, the last story. No offense, last story. <laughs> um, but I, I, I am very nervous. I am very, very nervous. And I don't know. I, oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Going to be interesting to see where this story goes. I actually um, also really liked the fact that we focused on, on basically this this alliance we didn't really have any of our quote-unquote heroes that we were following throughout this last episode and and it's it's really all about you know um garnering support and a, a bunch of unsavory characters banding together and and you know you can kind of get that this sense of like doom and gloom that that is about to happen um and it's very possible that they're just going to implode themselves you know what I mean? Like, it, it's possible. They, nobody trusts each other, and that's, that's what happens with these alliances. But I'm still nervous about what this all means, um, particularly for Mandalore um, and, and all of that. Anyway, um, I think that is about it. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you were here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.